As a member of NSTA's Board of Directors and the Multicultural and Equity Division Director, Alicia Connerly is the perfect person to continue our conversation about ongoing diversity efforts, and she's here in studio with us this morning. Thanks for your time. Thank you for having Let, me. Of course, let's talk about what your top priorities are in this role. My top priorities in this role are ensuring that resources, strategies, and just the workforce is being, becoming more diverse, equitable, and inclusive of our NSTA membership and population. And we understand that diversity is not just in black and white, it is in all facets. So we're excited about the things that we have done with that. And I'm excited about the incoming Multicultural and Equity Division Director who is going to be continuing those efforts. I was going to ask you, you know, how much progress do you feel has been made and where are there still some areas where we can make improvements? Well, we enjoyed the progress that was actually made during the pandemic. Mm. It was amazing coming on during the pandemic. So we're like, we can't go anywhere. We can't have any in-person conferences. So everyone had pivoted to online. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things we did along with the Association of Multicultural Science Education, which is known as AMSI with Dr. Sharon Delsbor, we worked together along with a former staff member Dolores Howard and we had virtual mini series. We had DEI mini series and we also had social justice in the science classroom mini series. We had an overwhelmingly great response. At one point we had to cut off registration actually won the social justice one twice. Wow. So it was over a course of several months and we were able to reach a wider and cast a wider net with individuals understanding what the multicultural equity division is about mm -hmm. and where we're trying to go and grow and the feedback that we got from it we're actually now working to have more mini series even though we're still uh, even though we're back with in-person conferences. So that the pandemic actually helped us. <laughs> Incredible. You're one of the few agencies that the pandemic helped. Um, you talk about these meetings and these little mm -hmm. mini sessions. Yes. What was some of the feedback that you were hearing from educators? What are some of the challenges that they still face? Well, the feedback that we were receiving was that they were excited, one about the mini series, excited about understanding what the Multicultural and Equity Division actually does and the committee actually does and where we're trying to go. But some of the struggles we still have is expanding that diverse workforce and that's oh. one thing that we're really focusing on. Interesting. You know, you certainly know a thing or two about breaking barriers. Yes. You were the first African-American administrator of Monticello Elementary School. For somebody who might be watching your career and wants to emulate it, wants to follow in your footsteps, what would your advice be? <sighs> breathe. <laughs> Take a minute. <laughs> Take a minute and breathe. Barriers are in place to see how far you can be stretched. As a people, we do not like change. Once we become comfortable in what we have, what we're doing, I'm, I'm quite all right with that. I'm, I'm content. But no, seeds do not grow unless there is something going on under the soil. You have to take roots. And then people don't understand when you're taking roots, you're breaking out of the shell. You're setting, you're planting yourself, and then everyone else sees what comes above ground. But when you look beneath that surface, you see how you've had to go left, you've had to go right, you've had to go straight down, you've had to branch out, and that hurts. My mentor, she always tell me that greatness cannot be contained in a box. She says, so you have to understand that you are great, and you have to understand that you're not to be in a box, and that the sky is not the limit. There are no limits, especially with scientists. There's dark matter and space out there, <laughs> so true. we go past the limits. <laughs> so there are no limits. That is great advice. Hopefully somebody listening will take, take yes. what you said to heart. Well, thank you so much for your time this morning, thank and you. thank you for all of your efforts in this role. Thank we appreciate you. it. I appreciate you, and thank you for having me. Of course.